Hi Aquarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is going to be one of their true intentions and love, Aquarius, and these are general reads, so they may or may not resonate, and please remember you can always switch the energy between you and your person, alright? So let's see what we have for Aquarius and their person. We're going to use this Energy Oracle deck right now, and in the extended, uh, it's all about your person and their Oracle cards too. I'll also be clarifying the Oracle cards, yeah I am. Uh, not all of them, but we'll see. We'll see when we get over there. The thing about tor uh, tarot is that sometimes it's just completely spontaneous. Show me the energy for Aquarius and their person. And we have the door to personal healing and happiness. Okay. I feel like you're standing at that door, Aquarius. Yeah, for some of you guys, uh, we're dealing with something kind of difficult. I feel like you're standing at the door. Walk through it, Aquarius. Standing at the door to happiness and healing. Yeah. I feel like you have, uh, for some of you guys, <coughs> you let something go. Yeah, you let something go recently that was, like, not serving you. Show me another card for Aquarius and their person. This could be their card, but I feel like it's really you. Show me uh, another card for Aquarius, please. Show me another card for Aquarius and their person. And let's see what we got. And or their person. Show me the energy, please. We have contract. Okay, you could be walking into, like, maybe you are fulfilling a contract. Maybe you're going to win a settlement. Maybe you have some type of a contract here. Uh, the, 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 the scales are here, almost like you're winning a settlement. And maybe this is going to help you with your personal healing and happiness, right? You never know, right? Because sometimes, you know, uh, maybe it will be quite helpful. And let's see what we have for your person. Let's get right into the reading here. Show me the energy for Aquarius and their person. We're going to switch decks here. Here we are. Let's see what we got for Aquarius and their person. Mm -hmm. We're going to put your energy down first. Show me the energy for Aquarius, please. For Aquarius. The Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords, that's probably you, Aquarius, because you are the Queen and the King of Swords. But I feel like you are discerning a situation currently, and the challenge for you is the King Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so there's an Earth sign challenging you on some level. That could be your person, or that could be somebody who is like an outsider, right? What you want is the Knight of Wands. What you fear is the Death card. So you could want a fire sign here, or you want to take action. I feel like you want somebody here, and you're fearing an ending, the Death card. Their energy, show me the energy for Aquarius' person, please. The Chariot card, this is Cancerian energy, the Emperor... Aries energy, the Eight of Cups is their challenge. This is walking away. What they want is the Two of Wands or hope for, and the Knight of Swords is what they are fearing or doubting. So your person looks like they, they like they, they want somebody to choose them, or they want to walk like they want to walk a new path with somebody, something like that. They're at a crossroads. Maybe they want to release themselves from this crossroads energy, though. Okay, mm -hmm. the challenge for them, your person, maybe they think an earth sign is going to walk away here. This could be, you know, let's see about this reading because I feel like there's already a lot of people in this reading. Uh, and there's, you know, there's four major arcana here mm -hmm. and two court cards. I mean, it's kind of a big reading. I feel like it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely about an ending, the eight of cups and the death card, right? We can't say it's not could be also about victory, but let's see, because your person has the chariot card in the recent past. So let's look at your energy first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what we have, and you have the Three of Pentacles, Aquarius, and showing up with the Empress. This could be a Libra or a, or a Taurus, but it could be, you know, this could be, I, there could be third party in this energy, in this reading. I feel like this is, I feel like uh, on some level you could be wanting, like, I feel like you're fearing an ending with somebody who is <clears throat> seeing somebody else. 
Let's see. The Empress and the Seven of Cups. This is your current energy. I feel like you were confused here if your person had a third party. <clears throat> I feel like that's the case. Your current energy is the six is the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past you're dealing with, maybe your ex-girlfriend, your ex-boyfriend, right? Somebody you knew in the past, this is what you are like. I don't feel like you're with this person now. Or if you are with them, I don't feel like it's like that solid. Like it's, mm-hmm. Why is that Six of Cups there? So you could be like discerning here, maybe inward, whether or not you can heal the situation with somebody. Or whether or not they have a star. I feel like that's it. This is you, I feel like. Yeah, star card. But I feel like uh, five of swords. Yeah, I feel like you are inwardly kind of questioning whether or not this person is like, like kind of in it to win it. Whether or not they're going to like defeat you kind of for somebody else. I feel like that's it. You could even feel defeated here, possibly. And the you're fearing a debt and ending here. And in your challenge, I feel like you're not so much defeated, though. It's possible. But so far, you just look like you are kind of questioning whether or not they're going to defeat you. Whether or not they're playing games. Uh, whether or not they have a third party, etc. So here, what's challenging you here is the... Uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Fool card, like, are they, they're taking a chance on somebody else. Or maybe, you know, you want a new adventure with them. Because, you're, again, you're afraid of an ending. And the Knight of Wands is uh, what you want and the Two of Cups. You want them to take action or be with you, right? You're in love with them, Two of Cups. Or you want a fire sign. Let's get one more card on your Two of Cups. Let's see. Page of Swords. I feel like you kind of want to know whether or not if they're going to take, like, you're just thinking about, you want them to take action. Like, you want to be with them. But you're, like, you're, you're thinking about it a lot here. You're dwelling on it. Or you were, or you have been, or something like that, right? Uh, I feel like you are thinking, could I ever have this? Page of Swords. Like, still, like, with this, investigative curiosity could I ever have this and here the death card is what you're fearing three of swords see you're fearing an ending and heartbreak their energy is the chariot card and the three of wands and the ace of wands for me your person's in like they're manifesting something with somebody This could say they turn their back on you, possibly to manifest another situation. Why do they have the emperor? They want to say some wands with somebody, or they're manifesting it now. The right now they have the emperor and the moon card. This could have been they turn their back on somebody else. Ten of Swords they have right here. With the Emperor and the Moon card. This is a big read. I feel like they're, they're, they're doubting here. I feel like they have doubts or fears about another situation. Why do they have the Ace of Wands? This is a recent energy. This is incomplete. Will of Fortune. They could be Sagittarius. Uh... Possibly the Knight of Wands is in the reading. But this is the wheel here and the Seven of Swords. OMG, this is their past energy. This could be, they could have, you know, this could be somebody else's energy in their energy. I'm not kidding. Somebody, I feel like somebody, uh, like, devised a plan here. Yeah, like some type of sneaky energy, like a plan to have a new beginning. They could have turned their back on somebody because somebody was this person that they... I feel like your person wants somebody else here. I feel like that's it. And this is why you're fearing the death card in the Three of Swords. I, I also feel like this person here in the recent past, uh, it could have been, you know, maybe... The timing is, is, you know, is difficult here. But I do feel like your person in the past... Uh, like, turn their back on somebody who is sneaky.
And this could be their person's energy who ended another situation. OMG. Because your person has a ten of swords here right now. But I feel like they have fear or doubts about their person ending a situation. Why is that ten of swords there? The ten of wands. They're carrying a burden here about a harsh ending. It could be with you. It's a possibility. But they're carrying a burden about some type of a harsh ending. Like they're not sure here that something has ended. Yes, I feel like that's it. Judgment. I feel like your person's not sure whether or doubting whether or not they're going to have a reunion with somebody. Because in their challenge is the Eight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Like this person, this King of Pentacles, or somebody here has to walk away from somebody. It's challenging them. Justice. Maybe a marriage. What they want is the Two of Wands and the Tower. I feel like they want to move forward with somebody and they want them to end their own situation. The Page of Wands. They want a new path. When I see the Page of Wands and the Two of Wands, this is somebody who wants to move forward with somebody and it's a new path. And sometimes in the desire for the Two of Wands, it means they want somebody to choose them. The Two of Wands is like all the twos are about choices, typically. And we know the wands are about moving forward. Let's see what else. Let's see what they're fearing. Why do they fear the Knight of Swords and the King of Wands? Yeah, this could be Sagittarius in this reading. It could be Aries, maybe, or Leo. It could, right? There's, I don't th see any Leo energy here, but there could be... Uh, Aries is showing up and Sagittarius so far. The Devil, this is what they're fearing. I feel like this person is afraid here. When the devil card shows up in the fear position too, and it's not a Capricorn involved, there could be here one here, right? The King of Pentacles is here. But if it's it's typically fear on its own, I feel like your person is worried here. Whether if, like fearing that this person's never gonna end the end their own situation. Yeah, I feel, and I feel like you're right using your intuition here. This is you, uh, uh, Aquarius. Fearing an ending because you know here that they're dealing with somebody else. Yeah, you know that. Whether or not that is your intuition or, you know, you have some proof, some solid proof. But I feel like in the past you were confused about it. Yeah. In the past you were confused and now you're like kind of, well, I wonder if they have somebody else. Yeah, I feel like they do. Mm-hmm. Because I also feel like in your desire, like, you, the, the Page of Swords is like the curious page. Like, I wonder if I could ever, like, have this person by my side, Two of Cups, if they would ever take action. Or this could be this fire sign, that uh, Knight of Wands. Let's get one more card. And the Sun card. Yeah, you're trying to gain clarity here about whether or not you could, like, be happy with them. Uh, or I feel like it's more about clarity here, because in your doubt here is uh, fear. I'm doubting, I'm fearing an ending, all right? So we're going to find out all about your person, Aquarius. I would like to see, too. All the extendeds are super affordable. We're going to get their oracle cards and see how they feel about you, their side of the story, right? And what they hide or what's unknown, what they want, what's most fundamental, or what they're willing to do here, right? And uh, what they fear and their true intentions. Thank you so much for joining, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.